a miracle. Andre, we lift up your wife and ask the Lord to do exactly that. We come into agreement with you. Lord, please, a miracle. Like, only you can do this. Sonia said, Lord, continue to give me strength to be obedient to your word. No sin. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of sin, Sonia. I'm with you. I come into an agreement with your prayers. We lift up the Jeffrey family. Lord, ask that you bless them, keep them, watch over them, guide them from all, away from all wickedness. All right. I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to add Brother David to this chat. Just give you some background on David real quick. You're going to want to stick around for this. I don't invite people on here at all. You all know that I try to keep this within the framework of what the Lord has shared with me. But this brother came into our life back in January or February. And during that time period, uh, and I'm still reading prayers as I'm talking. Uh, Jeep girl, I saw that prayers for your divorce, divorce, abusive situation. Um, his daughter went missing. Like, completely missing. Tiffany, prayers for your son, Cody. He was falsely accused. And so he came onto this prayer line, just like you are coming onto the prayer line right now. And he just entered a prayer, just like you entered a prayer. And his prayer was, my daughter's been missing for like 48 days, 42 days at the time, at the time. And I, I'm lost. I don't know where she's at. No one knows where she's at. Her name is Jordan. She's, she's 14. Please pray. And this prayer team prayed for her weekly. Others all around the United States prayed for her. And this brother stood on the Lord's business. He, he, he believed that, Carrie, I saw your prayer request. He believed and trusted the Lord. We believed with him. I'm not going to steal all the testimony because he's already given it before. But Brother David testified, came back into this chat after he had messaged me on a Friday and said, brother, we found her. Since you the invitation, David, brother, I wanted you to know and your prayer team to know that I want to thank everybody for praying. And he shared his heart. He shared his concerns. He shared the, the cycle, the roller coaster that he went through. I think it was a total of a hundred and 30 plus days or more everyone welcome brother David uh, to the chat how are you doing today brother can everybody hear him let me see if I turn the music on. I can't hear him S speak up Hello, Brother David. What a, what a. There you are. How you doing today, brother? Yes, sir. What do you want to share with the group? Oh, like I said, I first of all, I do want to speak for allowing me to do this, to be honest. Honor being able to be on your platform, to be honest. Um, I almost didn't even. You know, like you said, you have guidelines like everyone. You're kind of you're kind of cutting out. I don't know if it's my signal or your signal. Maybe maybe move to a different a different location. It's, it's probably mine. Okay, okay. Take your time. Get to a place maybe where you get a better signal. Maybe closer to a window or something. Sounds like you're in a garage or a warehouse or something, but go ahead, share. Go ahead and share. You have your family on with you. Yeah, uh, like, yes, yeah, how about now? Better? Yeah, that's better. He's. 
All right, you you might be breaking up. I think he's, are you trying to get to a place? Go ahead, brother. You have the floor. I say, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's perfect. Go for it. You have the floor. Go ahead and share. Yes, sir. David. All right. Maybe we lost him again. Okay. David, when you are you there? Whenever you're ready, go ahead and share. Let's see. Thank you, Lord. I come against distractions. I come against anything the enemy is trying to pause or cause. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. Hello. Go ahead, David. Hello. Oh my goodness. How do how do I how do I make how about the connection now? Is that is that Jordan is that Jordan? Hi Jordan. <laughs> yes, sir. Hi. <laughs> what a young, lovely young lady you are. What a blessing to see you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if you can see these comments right now, Miss Jordan. We've been praying for you and I'm so, so David, David, what are you doing to me? I owe it to you, my friend. Jordan, when when your dad when your dad came on here and shared that his daughter was missing, all of us in this community related with him because we all have daughters. My daughter's twenty one right now, but. She was your age. I still think of my daughter as that young girl that would let me hold her and kiss her forehead and take her to the court. And so we all felt something in our hearts and our prayer was this for you, that whatever you were dealing with, wherever you were at, that God's angels and everybody that's in this chat will know that I said, Lord, put four or five extra angels around her. People who think they may try to get her, protect her. Lord, if there's somebody in her realm, in her space that's targeting her, Lord, don't, don't allow the devils and the demons of this world to take her any further than they've already tried. And we just pray to prayer protection. That was it. Lord, protect her. Don't let her get trafficked. Don't let her get abused. Don't let her uh, be taken to a place that's so far off that she could not return. We prayed for your mental state. We prayed for your emotional state. We prayed for your physical state. And we just said, Lord, bring her home. And so when your dad reached out to me, and I would reach out to your dad about once a month, and I said, any news, any updates? And he would say, there's a lead, but we, we didn't find anything. Keep praying. And I would encourage your dad and many others, I'm not the only one, to hold on, like don't give up. Everybody that's in this chat that remembers this young lady and you prayed, this is the result of your prayers. We are so grateful for you. You don't know how encouraging you are to all the mom and dads that are praying for their sons and daughters right now. Like right now, there's other young people whose 
for whatever reason, we don't blame anybody. We're not picking on anybody. We're not saying anybody made a mistake. Our prayer every morning, Jordan, is, or just hit the reset button. Like, give everybody a chance to start over. We're not condemning anybody. We're not pointing fingers at kids. There's children right now, people right now in this chat, who's grandkids, that they just say, Lord, just give us a new start. And you are a testimony. It's people that's chat, chatting right now, probably crying at home because you are the revelation. You are the, 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 the result. You are the confirmation that they've been looking for. So thank you. What do you have to say? What, what would you tell moms and dads who are listening right now Who's praying for their sons and daughters? Are you 15 um, now? I would 14, just say. 15. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. I'll be 16 in a month. Okay. 16. I'll be 16 in a month. All right. Ready to I'll drive. I'll probably just say for everybody to not give up. To continue to keep trying. That's good. That's good. That's good. What can I can I ask you a personal question, but a safe a safe question? This is a safe space. Sure. Could you <laughs> could you feel could you feel the prayers? Could there you feel something? Yeah, go ahead. There was moments where it was like I don't know, like something was like telling me to like go home, like. I don't know. We know. Like a tug. Like a tug. And you knew that the situation you were in wasn't ideal, but you was it was this fight. It was this fight that said, stay, go, stay, go. And you kept feeling this tug. Oh God. The whole everybody that's listening. This is what is happening to all of our loved ones that we're praying for. And we believe, we have so much faith to believe in God that they're going to answer the call to that tug. They're going to they're gonna feel what we've been praying for. That's why we come every morning and we pray. Every morning we say, Lord, Lord, please tug on their hearts. Send a laborer, send somebody in their life that will encourage them, motivate them, help them. Holy Spirit, move. And we pray thoroughly that demons and devils and warlocks and witches get out of their presence so they can think clearly. Second question for you, Miss Jordan. And David, I appreciate you allowing your daughter to, to be here this morning. Were there any labels? Were there any people that you came across while you were away that you felt that was encouraging? That made me think twice. That compelled me to maybe reconsider. Was there anybody that you came across that you felt, wait a minute, that was odd? Honestly, in the place that I was in, it wasn't a lot of good people. So it was his protection. Thank God for you. All right. Listen, I'm not going to hold you up. I want to thank you for gracing us with your presence. Can I pray over you? Can we pray over you? Yes, sir. All right. 16. Getting ready to be in the 10th grade. 10th grade. You play any sports, any academics? teams any um, extracurricular well, activities i've played <laughs> most sports the only sports i haven't done is volleyball and track i might do basketball again this year okay all right saints i'd like for you to agree with me in this prayer as i pray for sister jordan father i just want to i want to thank you for covering her 
I want to thank you for prayers answered. I want to thank you for confirmation. I want to thank you for moving by your spirit. I want to thank you so much for what you're doing in her life. I thank you for her ups. I thank you for her downs. I thank you for everything in the middle. I'm going to ask you, Father, to continue moving in her life. Feel her with your spirit. Feel her with the inspiration of your words. Feel her with your goodness and your kindness and your love. Manifest your Shekinah glory, which is just the power and the glory of God from heaven seen visibly in your life. Lord, give her favor and success with people she comes across, with teachers and future uh, college admissions. And Lord, everybody that comes in contact with Jordan, favor and success. Lord, continue to heal her and her thinking, continue to heal her and her heart, her passions, her desires. Lord, everything that has ever hurt her, everything that's ever caused her pain, everything that's caused her to think twice, restore her, deliver her, reveal to her how much you love her, how much her dad loves her. Lord, I'm asking for restoration, full restoration, of the entire family. I don't know the details. I don't know the situation. It's not for me to know, but I know nothing's impossible for you. Oh God, I'm asking that everything this young lady desires in her heart, fulfill it for her. And I pray over David right now. I pray over the two of them, Lord, that you continue to grow their relationship, continue to bind them closer together, continue to help them to get into the word, continue to anoint the father-daughter relationship. Lord, don't let anything else happen to her. Put a hedge of protection around her right now. I'm speaking right now for five more angels to be with you everywhere you go. Tall angels, strong angels. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. And everyone said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. People are praying for you in this chat. Help her to fulfill her calling in life. Somebody said, you're truly special. There's a light on you. Give her peace and love. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your summer. And you are welcomed here. Everybody knows that I don't, we don't. I try to keep this secure because you don't know what people are going to say if they come on here. This is my prayer time that the Lord has given me for everybody. But if you ever want to come on here, Jordan, you got a, you got a space. I'll create a space for you and David any day of the week. All right. Yes, David, can I speak over your life, brother? Sure. I believe that what the Lord did for you is just the beginning. Amen. I believe that you are a walking miracle. You are walking faith. I believe that everything that you are asking God for, it, that the things that nobody even knows about, just between you and God, this was the beginning of God saying, this is your new season. This is your new opportunity. Go. Everything he's given you, David, that you've put on paper, that notebook that you have of all the things you want to do in life. God says this was the start. Continue moving as you hear the Lord. Your, your faith, David, is going to be the litmus or the, the conduit, rather, for other people. So even right now, as I'm looking in this chat, people are encouraged because of your faith. So, brother... I speak God's anointing over your life. Everything you touch may be anointed and blessed. Your business, I want to speak a blessing over your business that it grows tenfold. That people start buying your amazing artifact, your artwork. And that you're going to have so many orders, brother, that you won't even have time to get them done. You're going to have to hire somebody to help you figure this out because you, you backed up. I pray right now an abundance over your over your life, over your business, over your, that's a that's a gift. 
And I told you that when I get to the position that I want, I want three of them. I want three of them. Y'all go check Brother David out. Go to his web, go to his TikTok. And please, I tell you all the time, you don't have to give me a gift. You don't have to hit the like. I don't need an offering. Go bless this brother. Go, go, go look at what he's doing and, and allow, allow him to bless you with, with a, a nice gift. Brother David, you got anything you want to share with the group? Um, <clears throat> nothing. Then, like I said, I, I appreciate um, having a space, you know, to be on your platform because I know you do kind of keep it tight uh, on that. And I do appreciate that. Um, just wanted to, <clears throat> you know, I came back a little while ago and, you know, did the verbal, you know, uh, testimony. But I, I feel like, you know, the physical form, I just felt like that was a bonus. So I feel like I owe people that's prayed. I just feel like I owe, I mean, I owe, I owe God everything. Yes, but I feel like I owe that, you know, so that's why I kind of wanted it. And I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to to do that as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, listen, this was a uh, an amazing way to end today's prayer. Um, for everybody that was on here, uh, thank you. Uh, Andre, I'm going to reach out to you privately. You got something to say from the Lord, you can put it in the chat, but uh, we're gonna close with a word of prayer. Um, come back tonight, everybody, for Bible study, 7 p.m. Today's prayer will be on YouTube later today, and I actually am going to try to add this testimony as a separate piece, so it's not all a part of the long five hours, um, and make it a part, I have a new section, David, that I added called um, after Combos After Prayer, on my YouTube. And so your first testimony is on there. Just that section when you came on and you shared with everybody. So I absolutely have to now put this on there. So thank you so much for trusting us. Thank you. Let's close with a word of prayer. This has been amazing. Lord, I just want to end this prayer with a big old thank you. I want to thank you for your healing power, your resurrection power, your deliverance power. I want to thank you, Lord, for or just sh showering our hearts with the goodness of who you are. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve it at all. Like we don't, we don't. But our Redeemer lives. Our Redeemer lives and we're so grateful that you, you looked down upon us and thought enough about us to hear our cries, answer our prayers, soothe our hearts, give us a new chance. That's what I'm most important. Like, You've given us a new start, a new season, a new chance, a new opportunity. And Lord, we're going to take full advantage of it. We're going to take full advantage. Lord, give us the strength for the days of the days ahead. Teach us and guide us through your spirit is our prayer. It's in the name of Yeshua or Jesus, Hamashiach, which is just Christ, we pray. And everyone said Hallelujah. Listen, everybody, thank you. We appreciate you so much for your support. We will see you tonight, 7 p.m. You all have, look, the hallelujahs are still going on. I can't even close the chat yet because this, they're, they're praising the Lord, David. I got to get out of here. We got to get out of here, everybody. Y'all go enjoy the rest of your day. God, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow.